Lads, we're back, and we're back with the biggest month of this series so far. This might possibly be the biggest month in any series ever. It's jam-packed. We kick off the month with Liverpool. We've got two games against PSG. Don't worry about all the comments. We're going to play both those games. Then we take on Manchester City, Leeds, Everton, Crystal Palace, and to cap things off, Arsenal in a North London derby for the FA Cup. And I'm going to squeeze all of this into this one episode. And on top of the final against Arsenal, we could have another final at the end of the month, most likely against Real Madrid. Come on, let's face it. Real Madrid are most likely going to beat Aston Villa. The fact that Real Madrid and PSG are even in this competition is pretty insane. But that's going to mean we're going to have an extra game. And I don't even know where they're going to schedule this final. I think the Europa League has been played on Wednesdays before. It's been played on Saturdays. It's been the week before the Champions League final. It's been all over the show. But I have no idea where they're actually going to fit this game in i have to assume it's gonna go into the first week of next month but if not we might have a game on the wednesday before the cup final which means fixture congestion is gonna be hitting us pretty hard but that's enough of all the chit chat we've got plenty of games to play if you're new to the channel please smash that subscribe button if you go on to enjoy the video lads you know what to do hit the like button and start giving suggestions for signings for season number three liverpool first and at anfield we do have some very tired legs so it's been a rotated starting 11 the put out the best i can do let's try and get three points because we need to keep pace at the top of the league solomon's been played through early can i oh, try to get it across but i mean virgil van Dijk is just so good at football slow start to this one but if we win the ball back there and then slide it into Dusan's touch was good past virgil virgil blocks it virgil blocks everything virgil's so good at the football i really really hate playing against them to play a quick throw into luis diaz he's gonna play that one out wide to grab a bear. you ain't beating vicario there grab a bear. base opening up out wide into sancho he's gonna have to go alone allison saves it oh are we gonna get the second ball now of course virgil wins the header don't let salah run through mark gay that was pretty remarkable not going to lie is that ball behind to come in? of course not because virgil van dyke is there as per usual chelsea are losing to west ham that's insane Bella inside don't let him go near post i pulled him back a little bit don't care do not care oh my god it's tricky it's tricky emerson made a really good run pull van dyke out of the situation solomon oh allison saved it it's not van dyke getting in our way it's allison as to be expected jota to jones jones lost out can we break sancho lifted it over we have cut out virgil van dyke do some lahovic allison used to do some just finishing that there quite surprised that he wasn't able to could he finish this one now oh, virgil beats him to the header arsenal are drawing as well so not that detrimental if we do draw this one but a win would be awesome we just kind of make our lives a bit easier and we can focus on the europa league cummings has gone down injured on a clear end and now i just kind of have to hold off liverpool get cummings off the pitch you can't hold him off like that the carry out massive save typical that we pick up another injury not really needed Velez is going to come on and par's going to have to come on on the left and as per usual we're down to the academy players now that's how much we're struggling i might have to promote some more if this is going to be a really bad injury Velez can clear this though and now i'm just gonna pray for Sar to make this run but he got blocked off by robertson didn't work oh my god imagine par had won that back there Short corner diaz whips it in Baradi. they've made a lot of subs and virgil van dyke surely can't score ben and what are you doing the carry holds it. I want the ball out as quickly as possible. Virgil van Dijk's out of position. This does not happen often. Sancho can take that. Oh, let us have this play, ref. Let us have this play. And this is going to have to be great. It wasn't. That was... Oh, it might work out. Oh, my God. I mean, overall, it was definitely the wrong cross from Sancho. But Paul was just inches away. All right. A lot more than inches after that header from giving us the win. But this one will finish nil-nil. I think a point's decent. And Arsenal do go ahead and draw against Forest too. And Chelsea lose. So it doesn't really impact us at all that result. And we get past the Liverpool game. And Lucas Cummins. Only a bruised elbow. It's about time we got one of them. Some other news on the injury front as well is Kubo is returning to the first team. Now, we're not going to be able to use him for much just right now. But in two days, he should be fit enough to get back on the pitch. I can't wait. PSG next. They're at home for the first one. This team is pretty decent. Looks like Javi Simmons is starting in the team as well. They've got Mbappe, Dembele. Oh, this is going to be rough. I just have to hope that this 11 that we put out can get the job done in the first leg. Feel like if we come away from this one with just the result of not going down in this tie and being on level pegging when we're at home... 
That will be a very good result. The biggest question that keeps racking my brain, though, is how the hell are PSG in the Europa League? We've already learned here that PSG are not going to let us play, but Romero doing stuff like that is fantastic. Sancho, that one into Madison. Madison now in behind to Dusan Blahovic. They've had everything at the start of this game. Dusan sweats it over. Sonaldo. I don't know why that flashed up above his head. He didn't finesse it. But 1-0 Tottenham on the breakaway. It's exactly how we're going to have to score in this game. Assuming now winning that back. We might be starting to see why holes have formed in this team. Dusan Blahovic. Oh, he's pretty... Why was he fouled? I don't know. I felt the controller vibrate. But that might have been 2-0. And it's all coming from them giving the ball away. It's all their own downfall. Kuhn has been set through and I just don't really know. He's got such elite pace. I need these two centre-backs to be perfect. And so far, Romero and Jonathan Tarr have been that. Kuhn up against Pedro Porro. Did a great job. Goretzka. Jonathan Tarr, get it clear. Oh my God, we do. Get it clear again. No, it lands to Xavi Simmons. He makes it 1-1. It's not going to count though. He handled the ball. Panic averted. But I am expecting a little bit more domination for PSG. Can we escape this half without conceding? The pressure that they put on with the pace that they have going forward is just... Quite frightening, to be honest with you. Kuna dances inside. He's going to give it to Xavi. I just don't know how to deal with them. Vicario holds it. Let's just slow this down a bit. I might go Tiki Taka. Oh, no. We've barely got anyone back. Goretzka. Goretzka. Romero. Got back, did he? Oh, Jonathan Tarr blocked it. Sancho's going to have all the room in the world out here. Sancho. Still carrying it, Mads. Ah, couldn't get to him. But at least the ball was in their half for a moment. Kind of boxed them off as much as possible. <sighs> Deflection. Corner. Half time. And we have the lead, somewhat surprisingly. But there's no rest bite for us. This has been all PSG. The second half will remain all PSG. We just have to dig in, keep defending so well, and just come away with this result. Destiny, Doji doing brilliantly there. And now Song can kind of have a moment. Where he tries to slide it into Madison. And he does. Oh, Madison wanted Dusan to make the run. Maybe just slipped up a little bit there in the end. Destiny did brilliant to win the ball back though. Fair play to that man. Simmons out wide. He has been the danger man. No wonder they're playing him. We wanted him. Couldn't get him. And he's looked deadly in this world. I said it and they brought him off. I, I said it. And they brought him off. Don't know why I said it. Randall Kulu Moani is on. I don't know if Mbappe will go left now. Or Mouani will play out wide. Oh, Valverde is so quick as well. They've just got pace everywhere. Dembele lofts it in, Mouani. Oh, poor header. Not ideal, but we have some tired legs out there. So Richelison comes on for Dusan, Eze for Madison, and Hulmond in the center of the park. He should do the job for Basuma. Can we hold on? There's not long left of this game now. There's only two minutes added on. This game hasn't really had many stoppages. It's not been a great game of football. It won't finish a great game of football, but a very great night for Tottenham as we win 1-0 in Paris. Aston Villa have gone and beaten Real Madrid. Am I going to be playing my arch rivals Aston Villa in the final? That's if we manage to beat PSG. So it's Man City up next. Arsenal have closed the gap. They won the game hours before this one. That puts Arsenal neck and neck on points with us so we need to win this one to just create that three point gap again it's not going to be easy man city are having a poor season but we know full well they've got such a dangerous squad and i've had to rotate just purely down to tired legs after that game against psg can we squeak another one here found as eight i've started richarlison out left today he's gonna be an absolute nightmare out left richarlison oh my god i said he'd be a nightmare out left we use Dusan's run to create the space. Richarlison finds the top corner. He beats Edison and he's 1-0 Tottenham. Man City just really haven't been that good in this save. But this one has been so good. I, I do think we have to sell him. I genuinely do. He's too good to be a bench player. But man, have I had fun using him. Man City trying to get back into this one. Haaland. Oh, I faced him up. Vicario. Every time, man. He has become such a beast. Got that one into Grealer. Really tricky on the ball. Oh, he's done a great job, Gahey. Beautiful. Never a penalty. That was fantastic from Gahey. He's made some great tackles the back end of this season. Grealish is just causing all the issues. Gahey up against him again. Get there. Pedro Porro. What? Eh? What the hell happened with Haaland there? Was that good? It just ultimately stopped playing the game of football. Which is really weird. That ball to Dusan was stunning. Dusan, be clever, be clever. He keeps it though. Dusan, oh, what a save, Edison. Bill Foden has come on for them. We're going to bring off Romero for Van der Ven. Romero is knackered. He's been perfect to the back. Him and Gahey have worked well. But Van der Ven and Gahey have worked well in the past. Hopefully they can hold on. I'll take 1-0. Eze through? 
Oh my god, what a bit of play from Tottenham on the break. Eze, Edison is so good. We have to say though, Eze needed to drive that better. That should have been a goal. It has to be a goal. Richarlison though in the near post. Edison again get to it. Ah, Ballet clears it. I feel like we still have the ability. Do son. Oh, why take a touch? Oh. It caused a problem. We'll take a corner. And as the corner comes, it's chance to get Kubo back on the pitch again. And rest Dusan because we're going to need him against PSG. And as always, I'm going to bring on Holman. He helps close out games perfectly. Let's see what I could do with the resulting corner. We've gone close already. This time we're not going to. Kubo's first touch back. Kubo's first touch back. Oh, imagine that went in. Oh, you what? I forgot Haaland played for them. Grealish has been great. Van der Ven nearly went through there. Nunes, what a save for Cario. I don't want to jinx it, but Erling Haaland has just not really existed in this game of football. Get the ball clear. It's not that clear, but we'll take it for now. Balde, I oh, thought Holman was there in time. Foden, Haaland, after everything I said, don't let him score. There's been four minutes added on. This would be us navigating the hardest, I'd definitely say, Premier League game left of the season. And it would be a really good result if we could just hold on here. Vicario's played a major part again. As per usual, Walker, we block it. I just, I really need the ref to blow up here. Pedro Porro wins it. Boot it away. Referee, please. There we go. It's going to be 1-0, the victory. Back-to-back 1-0s. We're defending brilliantly. We're not doing too much going forward, but do I care? We just keep tacking on the win. And that puts us solidly back top of the league. It's only three points. We've got three games left to go in the league. But we have to cast our attention now back over to PSG. It is near enough the same side that started last time for that. And this is the starting 11 that we're going for. Can we hold on at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium? And this is definitely the type of game where I missed the intro cut scene. I don't miss it in all of them, but this is one that I really wish we had it. I'd love to have the walkouts and everything instead of this. This is hard to build drama around this. This is the most of a walkout we get. Although, to be fair, actually, I'll give them this. This was way better than the PSG game. We were straight into it. We had a bit of a walkout there. That man's going to be pivotal tonight. Dusan Vlahovic. That man who's kicking off as well, though, will be pivotal for PSG. Mbappe. Oh, Benton Kerr steals it back early. He's waiting for Madison. He's found Madison. Oh, my God, Madison. He's going to have to play it back across. Dusan. Oh, Donnarumma. Sancho! He's going to be 1-0 right at the start of the game. We get lucky again. They've been sloppy in midfield at PSG. They were sloppy in the first leg. Sloppy in this one. Madison brings it away. I don't know how Dusan doesn't took that home, but Sancho makes no mistake. Ooh, breathe. Breathe, Yorkie. That surely feels, though, like one step into the final. Oh, they've got it inside. Javi Simmons did score in the last one. It was handball, though. And then, oh, my God, Mbappe. He's done me. Well saved, Vicario. Get the second. He's off the post. Jonathan Tyra has done such a good job of just boxing off Mbappe. It's pretty disgusting. Romero did great there. Uh, but the ball back out to Sancho was shocking. Oh, you great, eh? Got that into Mbappe. <laughs> Romero, beautiful human being. Our defending in today's episode has been out of this world and it's the thing i've struggled with the most but we're defending brilliantly today Kylian mbappe i do i mean all oh, bodies on deck jonathan tar i love you what a man he's been in this tie unbelievable from him again but from the resulting corner marquinhos fires off the shot just wide of the pole Dusan. oh my god he's worked a beautiful ball inside to madison madison oh oh <laughs> it's three nil tottenham PSG have off them puffed. They've not managed to create. Oh, we tear apart that defense again. And I think Tottenham are going to the Europa League final. James Madison, this is cheeky. I, I didn't know what to do. I was thinking about passing it across and I thought, screw it. I'm just going for it and slides it home. Javi now. He's going to be dying to get a goal just before the half because PSG will need that to get themselves back into it. Vicario there tips it over. This has not been from lack of PSG having opportunity. We just got a really good goalkeeper and we've defended fantastically well. I just want to see this one out now until half time. I sense though that there could be some gaps opening up as they start to push forward. And survive until half time, we do just that. It's going to be 3 0 on aggregate for Tottenham going into the second half. This will take some kind of crazy comeback if PSG are to get back into this one. Mbappe now. He could be the danger man if he can get beyond Jonathan Tarr. Which today, so far, he has struggled to do immensely. Dembele gets a little bit of summit. Gets it out of Vicario or somebody Pedro Porro can clear it. And as per usual, in this game, we still look pretty damn decent. But Holman making passes like that won't help. Oh, Son stole it. 
Son can knock it on to Dusan Blahovic. This may be the biggest moment of the match. Dusan Blahovic to finish this one. Dusan will finish it. It's free on the night. PSG plot their own downfall. We are through to the final. And the game actually ended up finishing 4-2. Son grabbed a goal for us. And Bappe and Dembele for PSG. But it was 5-2 on aggregate. We're in another final. And we're playing Aston Villa who beat Real Madrid. Oh, and it comes at the worst time. Who puts a game on a Wednesday sandwiched in between two other games? And the game against Palace could be us winning the league. And the game at the end of the week against Arsenal is for the FA Cup. We have been royally screwed, but I kind of called this at the start of the episode. But that's fixture congestion for you. We will play Aston Villa in between Palace and Arsenal to see if we can win the Europa League. I'll tell you what though, that would be some insane week for Tottenham fans if they can win the Premier League, the Europa League and the FA Cup all in one week. But if we were going to win the league, we had to go on and beat Leeds. We do that. 2-1 Kubo back in the goal. Sun score in the opener. At this point with two games left, it is still only a three-point game gap between ourselves and Arsenal. With us having Everton and Palace left to play in this season, the good news is Arsenal play against Leeds, but then Manchester City. So Manchester City can basically decide our fate in the Premier League. As long as they beat Arsenal, we win the league. Now I do have another academy player that is looking to get out of the academy. He's not happy in there anymore. It's Sam Small. And at 18, 72 rated and the potential that this lad has, I'm going to promote him. Of course I am. How crazy could it be though that if we beat Everton here and Leeds beat Arsenal, my team Leeds beat Arsenal, then we would become Premier League champions. I think the biggest thing for me in this one is try and win the game and even if Arsenal draw, we're Premier League champions. Ben and Kerr, he wanted Sancho. I'm not going to make that risky kind of pass. I might make this one into Richarlison though. I do. Richarlison is great against his old club. That's a great save from Pickford. I'm pretty sure last time I played Everton, we battered them. They're not very good. And I'm hoping to batter them again. Pickford saves again. We're definitely creating the chances. We need to put it in the back of the net. That's another good one. That's a good one. Benton Kerr. Oh, great. Pickford saves again. Got a long cross though now to Richarlison. Dangerous position for him. Pull it back. Then slot it in the back of the net. Can't score, can I? This could be the one though that does find the back of the net. Knock it back over. Surely Kubo. Back in the team, back in the goals, playing in Cameron, this one. We're going to have to try and stop Everton here, though. Cannot let them get back into this. Thanks to Angelino, we do just that. We're going to play another one of those deep balls up to Richarlison. Uh, this time, he's going to have to take it. He doesn't score it. Full-time whistle. 1-0 victory for Tottenham. What a result that is. We needed it. God, did we need it. The celebrations don't look like we've won the Premier League, though. And that's because we haven't. Arsenal beat Leeds United 3-1. It goes down to the final day here, then, against Crystal Palace. And what quite easily can be described as the most crazy week of all time. On the Monday, we could win the Premier League. On the Wednesday, we can win the Europa League. And on the Saturday, we can win the FA Cup. That's us winning a treble in a we can we legitimately go out here and win a treble in the space of a week now the first game is against palace and i'm gonna be honest i have to be pretty smart here i think palace is very much a winnable game so i have to be smart with my starting 11 selection because i don't want any tired legs for the europa league final i also don't want any tired legs for the fa cup final i think i have to keep son and vlahovic in this one to start we have a few unhappy players as well but we can go over that at the end of the season here we go then the start to the biggest week of my career mode career is this one i can't honestly all in a week i've never had this on a save before and we're just gonna have to rotate so much throughout the week which is just gonna make it feel i don't know a little bit more insane if johnson hits that first time inside to pedro porro he has an opportunity i just let's see what happens can i do anything with benton kerr oh my god benton kerr may score the goal of the season to kick off this game against Palace and potentially win us the Premier League. I have to watch this one back. I just hit and hope because we were being closed down. It's gone through the legs. Oh my God. That's the best goal I might have scored on the game already this year. And right now, as things stand, Tottenham are your Premier League champions. There may be a lot of highs and lows in this game though, so I don't want to get too excited too soon. Oh, Lisi breaking with pace. Oh, I didn't like that from Romero. Just a yellow. Oh, we'll take a warning. Yeah, just a warning, please, referee. Ideally, the sooner we can get off some of our bigger name players for that midweek game, the better it would be for me. They don't seem to be testing me too much. Jonathan Tarr's back end of this season... Maybe some of the best defending I've seen on the game. Oh, Lisi cuts inside. 
He dances, he prances, and Romero dispossesses him. Dusan's got injured. How did Dusan get injured? Eze against his old club should tie things up, but how did Dusan get injured? I just forget the buttons every bloody time for how you don't celebrate. He's just done several flips. But how on Green's Earth did Dusan get injured? I never saw him go down. It was a great finish this from Eze, though. Let's, let's just give him that. Let's just... Let's there's claps for Eze. Maybe not the celebration, but Dusan is injured. We need to pray to everything that is holy in this game that this is just one of those five-day injuries. So Dusan's going to have to come off. And I've just realized something. The worst this injury could be is five days. In five days, the season's over. Dusan's out for the Europa League final and the FA Cup final. And it's just really sunk in. I don't know what we do. I'm bringing on Sam Small right now. The 18-year-old academy lad comes on for Dusan. I don't think there's an injury that is shorter than five days. Maybe there's a three-day one, so he'd be back for the FA Cup final. Oh my god, we're relying on Richarlison. It's a good job he's been bloody good this season. Maybe I play Son up top, Sancho and Kubo on the wings. There's options, there's options. But regardless, it looks like none of those options are going to be playing Doosan. That ball into Small. That was a good touch from Small. Small? Oh my god, Sam Small scores on his debut! And only if this was going to be the big storyline of this episode. There's been that much gone on. I could title this anything, but... It's a treble in three days. There's no way that we title it with Sam Small. But what an opening goal. Crystal Palace, he's going to have his first goal of his career. And I love to see it. We've got him and Cummins now who have both been academy players to make statements in the first team. Don hasn't got in on the act yet. And I bet he's devastated he hasn't. But he has now. It's 4-0. And to be honest with you, I'd jump to the sim if we weren't going to have a trophy lift at the end of this game. Tottenham. 4-0, final game of the season. We're lifting the Premier League trophy. Late corner for Palace, and Vicario collects it calmly. I've loved his endeavor this entire episode. Cummins just plays that one forward now. Mana Solomon, who is begging for someone to get forward, and then someone did, and it's small! Oh, he scored. Did he score? Did it count? Was he offside? What the hell happened here? He went straight into the replay. That's a goal. We've scored. Sam Small has two. What an emphatic way to win the Premier League. And nonetheless, with one of your youth academy players coming on and bagging two goals. Now, unfortunately, it's not going to be Son lifting the trophy. Boy, do I need him for the next two finals. But it is going to be Romero. And he is kind of vice-captain. Him and Mads have been vice-captains this year. So I'm more than happy... For this man who's been a beast at the back. We haven't conceded now in, I think, five or six games. This guy is a huge part. He's going to lift the trophy. 5-0 victory. And over the entire season, Tottenham Hotspur would just outright the better team. But that surely was only trophy number one of three. Now, as expected, and as we already knew, Dusan Vlahovic is out for the rest of the game. But he's actually going to be out for three months because it's about my ninth broken toe of FC24. Now, I can't focus on that too much. We've got Aston Villa. This is their squad. We know it very well. These are our rivals. They become this in-game rival with all the bitter games that we've had against them. We're at the Dortmund Stadium for this one. This should be fun. The big question is, is who do I opt to start up top with Dusan out? Got to be Richarlison. He's the next best goal-scoring record that we have in the team. Apart from that, it's probably what you would expect from this starting 11. And let's just see if we can make this trophy ours. This would be adding four trophies to the Tottenham cabinet. There's one left I'd like to add. That's the Champions League. And that's why there's definitely going to be a season number three for people asking. If we don't win the Champions League in season number three, though, I think that will be it. I think there is only one more season left in this save before we need to move on to the next. And as you'd imagine, it's a final. So we have no build-up, no walkout, apart from a bit of smoke. And there was more walkout in the second leg of the semi-final. A little bit disappointing. Aston Villa are not disappointing. They're very difficult to play against. I pray that we get a good result. Kubo lost that one up. Just trying to create some space in behind early doors. And Naziri is going to be a problem today. So is Jonathan David. Last time out though, we beat them and David missed a penalty. Well, he didn't miss it. Vicario saved. Jonathan Tar can't keep up with Alex. Alex lofts it in. Oh, they've gone all the way to end. Naziri Vicario saves it. Is there space for Son? There is space for Son. There is lots of space for Son to make it 1-0 Tottenham. That's what we do. We hit you on the break. Ronaldo makes it 1-0 here in Dortmund. We might seem two for two right now, but let's, let's not kid ourselves. Aston Villa are good at scoring goals. Do you? Oh, he sat me down. 
Vicario. Vicario every time. I love that man. Jonathan David tried to lift it in. And you've got... What's going on? What happened there? Vicario saved it. I, I'm really annoyed. But we saved it. That's all that matters. I thought Madison was going to keep making that run. He didn't. We certainly haven't felt like we've offered anything, really, since the goal. Diaby coming forward now. It's been all Villa, but... We're just doing a job defensively in this episode. They're loft in a good corner here, though. And Jonathan David just wider the mark. Now, we're good at catching people off guard early in halves. Is this going to be one of them? Richardson back through. Mads, Madison. Oh, he just kind of scuffed at it, didn't he? Straight into Martinez's arms. Oh, they've got some space. Oh, I don't like that. That's a good ball across. Diaby wide. Oh, my. They just have not put their shooting boots on today. Everything they've hit has been wide. Douglas Luiz coming off for them. Yuri Tielemans coming on. I'm yet to make a sub, and I don't plan on doing it anytime soon. Although Romero is knackered. That might be a move I want to make sooner or later. Pedro Porro behind to Kubo. Kubo back across to Richarlison. Into Mads to win the game. I just, I mean, the wavelength did not work. This just has not been a pretty game. But if I could play in James Madison... It might be one that gets finalised as Emmy Martinez makes a massive save. Time for us to make some subs. We don't really have a choice. We're going to make a whole host here and just hope that we can see this one out. Our defending has been great. We're starting to create some chances against now, again against Villa now. Well, we're just going to make a ton of subs here. I'm going to put this corner in. I'm keeping Son on. I want him to be lifting this trophy if we can win it. I feel like we've started to break down Aston Villa a little bit more now in this second half. Getting to that point of the game where we know all we need to do is hang on. Velez, back across to Kubo. Oh, my God, Martinez. Oh, I'm just, we've just got tired legs everywhere. Oh, I shouldn't have slid in. I've got tired legs everywhere. Philip Kostic, ball over. Vicario holds it. And that will see Tottenham crowned Europa League champions against Aston Villa. That is a double complete. It was the early breakaway goal from Son then that sees us lift the trophy. I'm going to tell you one thing. These trophy cutscenes are ruined a little bit because I'm pretty sure the rest of the game is in 60 FPS, but the trophy cutscenes are in 20 at best. They're absolutely shocking. They're really bad. They're worse than last year. I don't know how, but Sonaldo, Sonny Boy, my favorite player in this team, he's going to lift the Europa League trophy. Two down, one to go. It's going to be a big North London derby for that FA Cup final. And it's going to be the usuals for Arsenal there. Not really any surprise. This is a lineup we've played several times this season. And we have to add, it's a lineup we beat several times this season. But with them already losing the Premier League to us, they might have something to say about this one at Wembley. Richarlison is absolutely knackered, though, to start up top today. Do we really go with Velez? Do I go with Sam Small? Velez has kind of been out of favour as the season's gone on. And after a lot of general consideration, Sam Small starts up top. This will be the rest of the 11. It's extremely tired in places, especially in the back line. But we knew this week was going to be difficult with three games in one week to try and win three trophies. Let's see if we can get the third done. This will undoubtedly be the hardest task of this week. And I genuinely hate playing at Wembley. Because look at how dark the stadium is. It's It hurts the eyes. It's just really dark. I don't... I feel like this has been a problem in FIFA before. How is it still a problem this year? How? Jorginho wants to crack off a shot. I, mean, I tell you what, that weren't far off from Jorginho. Are they leaving that gap for Sancho? And is Sam Small going to score against Arsenal? Oh, he's put it bloody wide. This would have been the making of Sam Small. And it's quite wide. Hitting the stanchion like that is not ideal. But I tell you what, he's already showing with his movement. He's going to be a threat in this game. And probably a dark horse to score goals. Oh, Saka, I hate playing against Saka with how tired this defense is. I can't afford to be playing against him. But we've managed to block up the box now. And Destiny can't do it. Gabriel Jesus. Vicario, beautiful save. We're going to need him, aren't we, today? We really are. This back line is absolutely shot. It's knackered. Van der Ven's knackered as well, to be fair. There is literally only Gehi who is in any shape. Have I just done them? Who is in any shape here today? Son is knackered too, to be fair to him. Do I, do I do this? It's reckless. I do it, though. Madison! Maybe should have gone with Son, but he's so tired. It's so difficult to make that decision. I mean, Madison just needed to do a bit better. Maybe I had time to control it with it. Sancho now. 
Wants to pull that all the way back to Sam Small. Sam Small! Oh, Ramsdale's been tested again, but he's answered. So far in this game, Sam Small has made a nuisance of himself. Oh, God! No, 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 no! Oh, my God! I could have not been more off the line. So at halftime, we're unscathed, but we don't look good. We know the second half, we have to kick it up a notch. If we're going to score a goal, Velez is on the bench. I will bring him on. To be fair to Small, he has looked pretty decent so far, and he wins the ball back there very early on. I think sometimes in the final third, though, we just made the wrong decision. Sancho now. Oh, that was lovely. Sancho! Oh, that would have been a beautiful goal. We're going to take Mads off. He's absolutely knackered. Eze comes on. He's performed really well recently. Let's whip this ball in. Let's hope it's a beautiful ball into Son. Oh, I thought that hit the back of the net. Oh, Jesus, fam. Saka, he's onside as well. Proper exploited. He gets beyond Destiny Doji. But they always look to cut inside, and I feel like I've got way better at the cutback. Get that one into Small. It's a good turn into Eze. Eze, the sub! Eze, the sub! Makes it 1-0 Tottenham. And of all people, it's going to be Sam Small with the assist as well. He took this on nicely. He's picked up form recently as Eze. Had that big injury at the start of the season. Are we about to win this trophy? Because to be fair, we've not really conceded this episode. Will it be two trophy lifts for Son in the week? That's the big one. Thomas Party's got three now. I was tempted to bring him down, but I just remembered. They have Odegaard on the pitch, so don't bring him down. Romero will defend brilliantly, even if he's got no stamina left. Oh, no, Jonathan Tag gave it away. I think that's probably the tiredness. Oh, Vicario saves it. Raporo, the ball into Ibasuma, who just made a absolute darting run. What footwork that is from Bas Ib Ibasuma makes it too. I c um, no words. This is completely against the run of play. In my head, I'm thinking I'll just pull it back. Ramsdale's been brilliant. He gets beat way too easily there. But what a turn for me, Basuma. That goal is massive. I, I mean, look, Ramsdale was shocking there, wasn't he? But nonetheless, that's two. And I think with the time left, I don't think they can do it. They've created chances. Vicario saved several of them. I don't think they can go on and win this game. And I genuinely think we're going to win a treble in a week. I'm just waiting for the full-time whistle here. And we're going to get it. It's two. Nil. Tottenham. Not Arsenal season. If you're a Tottenham fan, you must be loving this right now. We've just beat Arsenal out to the Premier League. And at the end of that very same week, well, technically the next week, but we'll get, it's all in one week. It's all in seven days. Seven day span. We've crushed their dreams twice. We take the Premier League from Arsenal. We take the FA Cup from Arsenal. This one was a very difficult one. Eze with the goal. Some will lift the trophy. This one was really difficult because we had so many tired legs. Dusan Vlahovic went down in the final game of the Premier League season. But players like Sam Small have stepped up. Players like Richarlison has stepped up. And we end this season with that trophy right there. The FA Cup. And I could not be happier. You don't even, you don't get podium. There's not a lot of money in the FA Cup, no podium for the FA Cup. Because there was a podium for all the other trophies. But no podium for the FA Cup. Well, this is going to be a memory that lasts long in Tottenham fans. Four trophies in two seasons. Three of them in the space of a week in this season. As Young Min Son lost the FA Cup trophy. We top off a brilliant season. And speaking of Hyun Min Son, despite an injury yet again, what a season he's had. 17 goals, 6 assists. Dusan Vlahovic played 42 times this season. Bagging himself 31 goals, 13 assists. Not as many goals as last year, but I actually think it's more assists than last year. And he's now gone up to 90 overall. Richarlison doing really well. Madison doing really well. But there are a few players in here that we definitely now want to move on. Richarlison being one of them. And potentially even Vela maybe just alone again i really like what i saw from sam small and velez didn't have a terrible season 17 appearances so he did get game time this year but only five goals and one assist and i can't end the episode without giving props to two players that are lucas cummins going up 11 to 69 overall and sam small being called up being chucked into a massive game and scoring two goals and getting an assist in the fa cup final what a set of appearances that is for the 18 year old i can't wait to see how he progresses we do have a few players here who were upset 
set. I presume of being one of them, even though he's just scored a massive goal. I think if we give him a contract, he'll be fine. Pedrag should be fine as well. We just need to rotate him in a few more games. And Matt Gahey, though, he's going to start getting even more frustrated if he doesn't get the game time he believes he deserves. Now, it's time for me to go away, assess your guys' advice at the end of this video, and see what we should do for season number three. This season number two has been unreal, but you already know it, lads. We still want to win the Champions League. The third season will be the third and final season, though, of this Tottenham Hotspur career mode. So feel free to let me know, teams, down below who we're going to do. We'll probably start doing some polling relatively soon or at least soon into the set the third season but that's gonna be it for me lads thank you very much for the support here on season number two and the overall series so far i will see you for the start of season number three probably in a few days appreciate you all much love and i'll catch you in the next one